Welcome. This is Zangler, the Redwood Materials, and now Redwood Energy Advocate, bringing you um, a, a video about the uh, June 26, 2025 uh, event at Redwood Materials Tahoe Regional Industrial Center campus, not far away from Giga, Nevada. I was lucky enough to be invited, and I appreciate the opportunity to uh, cover this event and be um, there when they announced that they will um, that they are um, forming a new division called Redwood Energy. And just to be clear, this video is is really more about the vibe and um, just kind of fun. Uh, I can post a few of the details, but I'm certainly not the expert. But um, Anyway, hope we have some fun with it. So the big announcement: what what is what was what is Redwood Energy? So they normally take uh, end of life batteries from EVs and other lithium ion battery um, powered equipment like cell phones and power tools and, and the like, and then they recycle them. They um, they have a very uh, efficient process where they break it down into the component pieces and then they can sell uh, the lithium, the cobalt, the manganese, the graphite, and um, other base materials back to battery manufacturers or other businesses that, who, can, who can use them, who can use those base materials. Well, what they found out is that many of these end-of-life EV batteries while not good enough to power an electric vehicle, are perfectly good for stationary storage. So they have their they have uh, their own microgrid, and they are powering in, in partnership with Crusoe, um, uh, an AI company. They are powering a um, an AI portable uh, data center. And that, that data center specifically is used mostly for inference compute. And I did not know what that meant, but I did, I did ask Grok to explain it. And basically, inference, the part, the, the part of AI compute that inference does is, is after the training. It's not as intensive in terms of its demands, but it's the, one, it's the thing that turns a question into an answer. And it's the thing that detects. So again, I will post some of the specifics in the um, comments um, on, on this post and or uh, video, but mostly I just wanted to get you, show you what Northern Nevada looks like at, sun, at sunset. And uh, this is the um, very simple, uh, surprisingly rustic battery, uh, battery energy system, microgrid. And, and this is the solar field that powers it. And um, this is ground mount, and you can hardly even call it ground mount because it's, it's right on the ground. They basically just clear the ground, level it, and um, place these solar um, panels down to um, power those batteries, and those batteries last more than 24 hours powering the, uh, the two Spark Crusoe portable AI um, data centers. In the middle of that is um, a Roomba automatic, not, not really Roomba brand, but a Roomba-like um, solar panel cleaner that operates 24-7 and cleans the, um, keeps these uh, solar panels clean so they'll be efficient. Later on at, in the event, um, J.B. Straubel sp spoke 
and, ex and um, had two representatives from Crusoe also on stage. They have a great partnership. So we took a, we all piled into two separate um, tours um, via bus, and Adam, the um, gentleman who does tours for Redwood Materials, took us on a tour and explained, took us on a tour of the existing Redwood Materials uh, operation, but then stopped and um, had both someone from Redwood Energy and someone from Crusoe explain uh, this new, uh, very scalable line of business. Apologize. Some of these pictures, I just took a handful of pictures um, while JB was on stage. Um, again, some very interesting stuff. Apologize for the glare. I'm not exactly sure why, but um, it, the... Uh, the camera was not able to manage the, the lighting. And again, I'm not, others can get into the details. I'm just here to show you part of it. So the secret sauce is the pack battery pack management system, affectionately known as Pac-Man, and that's what you saw. <laughs> Here's a look at some of the um, racks of servers, A100s, as you mentioned. Again, certainly not an expert in this area, but um, enjoy being able to share this with you and uh, enjoy it. And uh <laughs> J. 
JB, do you mind if I get you in this? As the party wound down, I chilled out. The uh, funny thing was is that the uh, invite said that the dress code was desert casual. And uh, I'm not sure I heard that term, but I think I did represent it.